Welcome to Daybreak. I'm Joe Young, manager for the Village of Oxford. And with me is Debbie Wren, the, council, the president of yeah. the Oxford Chamber of Commerce. So we're glad to be with you here. Joe Frost couldn't make it today, but sends his regards. We'll fill in for him the things that are happening there, too. But Debbie, you want to start with the chamber and the good things happening there? Absolutely. There's a lot of things going on with the chamber, and here we are now into the last quarter of the year. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Where has this year gone by? Yes, yes. Well, at least we had a real summer this year. Yes, we did. Yes, <laughs> we did. Nice. We, now uh, we're going to have a real fall. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, with the, uh, today being the day of our recording, it's pouring rain outside. Mm -hmm. All I'm hearing about is yeah. floodings all over the place, but yes. it's nice and cozy in here. So um, with this being the last part of the year, we have two big major uh, events going on with the chamber, one of which is the uh, 14th Annual Women's Expo. The Expo, uh, we're kind of changing it up a little bit this year. Uh, we are going to be on a Sunday which many, many, many folks and our vendors are thrilled about. It will be on Sunday, October 23rd, and it will run from noon till 5 p.m. Uh, this year, we're going to be having a, a taste of Oxford. We're going to have wine tasting. You're even All going right. to be able to test drive a new, ve uh, new vehicle. Cool. That'll be sweet. Uh, coffee tasting, cooking All classes. Right magical makeover and many many door prizes and of course we always have our luxury raffle right. and um excuse me this is called uh save second base uh um, the mm. monies will be for um breast cancer because this is breast cancer awareness month mm. and with that being said we're looking forward to many many vendors we still have a few vendor spaces left so uh, this will be out at Boulder Point. And if you are a vendor and would like to uh, be part of this event, uh, you may call the chamber office at 248-628-0410. We always have many, many women uh, attend this, but now we're looking for having the families attend, being that it's going to be on a Sunday. Sunday, October 23rd, noon to 5. Noon to 5 Boulder at so Boulder Point. Down. And it's free to attend, yep. so you can't beat that. Yep, that's awesome. Uh, also, following that, um, Independence Village is going to be having a... Um, an open house on October 6th okay. and that uh, they're going to be having a uh, craft and wine and great living event. Hmm. So the craft beer that is uh, going to be there is going to be our own Falling Down Brewery. Wonderful. Mark Larson has uh, uh, grouped up with uh, Pam Terry and they're going to have they're going to be featuring their uh, beer. The wine, um, I'm not sure where that's going to be coming from but they're going to be doing free tours um, around Independence Village just so that you can see what um, what Independence Village is all about and if you haven't been there this is a great opportunity in which to um, see uh, the executive chef he's going to be cooking up some great hors d'oeuvres and Mark does a phenomenal job with food so that will be on October 6th um, from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. So they're asking if you would just call to RSVP, and their phone number is 248-504-2349. So once again, that'll be out at Independence Village, October 6th, for their open house. Moving on, moving on. Don't like to say it, but Christmas is just around mm -hmm. the corner. Mm -hmm. We had our... Um, <clears throat> our um, participation for registering for a new name. We like to have a new theme each year for our parade. And we had a, a brother and sister team that actually won our, uh, our theme this year. And they, they came up with the theme of Christmas at the North Pole. And the winners were uh, Cicely and Roran Fulcher. So congratulations, kids. They will be on the float. And uh, so your theme now is Christmas at the North Pole. That's the first Saturday in December. And parade time will be at 2 p.m., like we always right. do. So those are our two major events. We always have our um, mix and mingles. That's always the last uh, Thursday of every month. 
and our Coffee Connects, which are always the first Tuesday of every month. So at this time, I can tell you that our Coffee Connect, which will be on uh, Tuesday, October 4th, at 8 o'clock, is going to be at the Charter Township of Oxford. Mm -hmm. So that's right on Dunlap Road, and we anticipate, as we have been having for the all, all this year, really, we've had you know, 30, 30 plus people Wonderful. attend. So you don't have to be a chamber member for that. Uh, we would love to just get together and network and, and find out about you and the community, share all things with the community. Yeah. So um, other things that are, are happening around here are um, the Oxford Women's Club. On Wednesday, October 5th, they are having their fashion show. Once again, wow. that's going to be at um, Boulder Point. That's their biggest uh, scholarship fundraiser right. for, for the Oxford Women's Club. Um, in the past, they have uh, given nine to ten thousand dollars worth of scholarships to our seniors right. at Oxford High School. So, this is a, a wonderful event, and I've been there just about every year. So, right. I enjoy it. Uh, Pink Creek Country Club. They're going to be having the Oktoberfest at Paint Creek on Friday, October 7th. Everything is happening next oh, yes. this, this week here. That's going to be from 6 to 9, and that's open to members and to the public. And they're going to be featuring Midland Brewing Company craft beers, along with gourmet sausage and snitchel buffet. Can you imagine? Mm. That sounds good. Yes. <laughs> Packages mm -hmm. include... All you can eat and drink of the featured draft beer. So the dinner package is $19.95. And if you wanted to golf as well, the golf and dinner package is $49.95. So thank you to Paint Creek uh, Country Club. Great. Great. And American Legion. Our American oh, Legion yes. post here, post um, 108, is offering free eye exams for the veterans and active military and their family on Saturday, October 29th from 9 to 3. Uh, they're also welcoming home, they're, they're having a welcome home picnic, uh, 50th anniversary for the uh, Vietnam era veterans and their families. That's going to be on Sunday, October 23rd from 11 to 5. This is a welcome home party that these heroes never received. My brother is one mm. of the Vietnam veterans um, and I think this is just very, very special and very kind of our American Legion post to um, open up their doors and, and welcome home these veterans. Uh, Girlfriends Walk. Yes. That is Good Wednesday, moment. October 26th from 5 to 9. They're collecting for uh, Love, Inc. Personal Needs Ministry closed closet. They're going to be taking donations and that will take place once again on October 26 from 5 to 9. So well, much more great, to go on. Fun event, lots going on. Lots going and, on. Uh, have the limousine running and everything going for that one I'm sure like usual. Well we're going to close this uh, session up and we'll talk about the DDA and other things going on in our community. Thank you. Thanks. Canines Free Rescue does just that. Rescue stray dogs for new families. But they need your help. Become a volunteer at Canine Stray Rescue League of Michigan. Take dogs for walks, help them socialize with others, and help them get adopted. Fill out an application and help a family add a new member today. Oxford Orient Fish helps provide emergency aid to the people of Oxford, Ligorian, Addison, and Oakland Townships. 
One of the only self-serve food banks in the state, Oxford Orient Fish provides once-a-month food supplies based on the size of the family. To donate, volunteer, or to find out more, call Oxford Orient Fish at 248-628-3933 or go to their website, OxfordOrientFish.org. Oxford Orient Fish, neighbors helping neighbors. Welcome back to Daybreak. Joe Young, Debbie Wren, we're just sharing with you all the happenings here in our Oxford community. Lots of exciting things happening. And our Downtown Development Authority, um, Joe Frost couldn't be here today, but uh, we're passing on information. Um, we've got a vision for Downtown Oxford session coming up on Wednesday, October 3rd. Fifth. There's two sessions, October 5th, I'm sorry, Wednesday, October 5th. From 1 to 3 p.m. and from 6 to 8 p.m. at the village offices. It'll be in the council chamber. And that's where we're looking to get your input on what you would like to see Oxford become uh, for our downtown area. Uh, share your ideas, see what we can do to make things happen. Uh, one of the items that uh, we'll be looking at along with that vision is, they're calling it Envision, but vi vision is that in 2019, MDOT has advised us that they're planning to reconstruct M24, mm -hmm. total reconstruction, Washington Street, really it goes down to Golden Gate, down in Lake Orion, all the way north to just north of the village at Harriet Street. So it's a major project and we're looking at input on ideas of what we can do to make it look attractive, what we can do to enhance it like street lights or benches, landscaping, other things. So uh, there'll be uh, some sessions coming up on that in February for stakeholders. But we have this community visiting session again on Wednesday, October 5th at 1 to 3 and then 6 to 8. So if you can stop by and see what's going on and give us your input, yeah, that'd be awesome. Share your ideas. And the really. DDA, of course, this past weekend had the uh, Scarecrow Festival, so we hope the weather was good for that. <laughs> but coming up, you know, we got the Christmas parade, but we also have uh, the tree lighting and soup and sweet oh, stroll yes. the Friday night before, which is December 2nd, and that's from uh, 6 to 9. A uh, big event. Uh, they're looking to make it even bigger and better every year with our burning barrels and caroling and, uh, of course, um, all the children singing and, of course, Santa Claus. So Of course. Always fun. We've on that. Uh, you mentioned about the Girlfriend's Walk that's coming up yep. on October 26th. You need to take advantage of that. Um, the DDA, while we're on the DDA minute, they've got two new board members. Uh, Sam Barna, who's the uh, vice president business manager for the school district, is going to be appointed to the DDAs, uh, along with Regina Woodson, who is the AAA insurance representative here in downtown Oxford. So Regina is going to, and Sam will be great giving us some insight from their perspectives, and we're excited and looking forward to having them be on our board. I want to thank Jerry Kremen and Ed Hunwick, who they're replacing on the board. Uh, so we're, um, again, thankful for that, looking to good things to happen for the DDA. Excellent. That's good. So the uh, yeah, other events we've got going, uh, Merge is having their Dirt Road Derby next Saturday, October 8th. It starts at, at East Street in downtown and ends up back downtown. I uh, didn't see it on the time. Let's see, 9 o'clock is the mass start for the 35-mile one, right? And the 10 o'clock wow. is the 16-mile. Uh, but I don't know when the one mile starts, but I don't know if they have. That's a joke. But anyway, <laughs> uh, for you, those avid dirt bike riders, it's got an opportunity to enjoy and share coming up. A uh, couple of new things that came up. One is we have a new uh, Poly and Trail director, um, trail manager, Linda Moran. Uh, just started this past week. We're very excited about having her with us. Um, she uh, won out over a strong uh, group of con competition, a lot of qualified people with lots of skills. Um, so we're very excited about having Linda Great. take charge. And she's got a zombie run coming up on uh, October the 8th. Um, so that'll be her first opportunity to get an event going. And of course, hopefully the weather will be good. But it's a fun, exciting event. I think it's the fourth year they've done that. And lots of other activities that uh, Polly Ann Trail will be uh, coming forth with our new director. And speaking of traveling and, tra and moving on the trail, we also are looking at, Note is looking at having a trolley. I see Set up this. a route, a fixed route uh, vehicle uh, that would run from Myers South down to Kmart is our proposed plan. We're looking for sponsorship and advertising to help support paying for the service. Uh, the bus itself, 
the vehicle is $58,000. Wow. And to run it from October to, um, from May, I'm sorry, from May to October uh, for full routes, I think it's 7 a.m. to midnight to 11, it's going to cost around $50,000 a year to run and pay for wow. gas on and, uh, insurance and operating. So uh, the NOTA board directed uh, Lynn Guff, just in the director, to go out and seek uh, support and sponsorships to see if we can help finance this. Um, we have uh, now millage that you know we're contributing towards NOTA uh, to keep the service for the seniors and those that aren't able to drive. Uh, but now this is something that would be available to all taxpayers. Uh, there might be a small charge, a dollar or something to mm -hmm. ride, but uh, it's exciting up to We've been wanting it for a long time. Uh, well, and, and it Orion. says that that is 11.7 yeah, miles. Yes, that is a wise. long distance from Myers all yeah, the way down to hour. that Kmart. That is phenomenal. Yeah, so uh, we're excited and hopefully we'll get the sponsorship and support to make that happen. And hopefully uh, if it's successful that we expand it so it's a year-round service. It may not be a trolley in the winter months, but... Mm -hmm. uh, something we'd like to see happen uh, with our own uh, service here available to everyone. That's great. So that's exciting. Uh, one um, thing on the government I did want to mention, besides the downtown vision plan, we also have the master plan for the mm -hmm. village. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a public hearing scheduled for Tuesday, October 11th at the village council meeting. And that's at 6.30 p.m. and we're looking to update our master plan, our parks and recreation plan, our transportation plan, and we have three redevelopment areas on uh, south, east, and west of on Washington Street with some concept plans, what we'd like to see happen with developers coming in and providing housing and more office and commercial uh, businesses and buildings. So uh, lots of opportunity here this year. It's a five-year process that we go through every uh, every five years for uh, updating our master plan and see what we could help um, promote and move uh, development in the village, uh, particularly the downtown, uh, forward. So that's, again, another opportunity if you have input. That's, again, Tuesday, October 11th at 6.30 at the council chamber. So we're excited about those things. We also have coming up in November is an election. Oh, my. And November 8th is the presidential election. Yes. And in Oxford, we have... Not one ballot sheet, there's going to be two ballot sheets because there's so many items on the ballot. Besides all the national elections, presidential, in the state, there's county, there's township, there's village uh, council members are up. There's also seven proposals from the village on the agenda, uh, charter. Uh, the, wow. I'm, I'm on the agenda, uh, ballot. Six of them are related to the charter, updating that. And then there's a seventh one relative to whether or not to authorize sale of some property on Maple Street. So we encourage, we're encouraging you to go get an absentee ballot, mm -hmm. fill out a form, and they'll mail you the ballot, and you mail it back. Uh, that will give you time to go through the two pages worth of items you need to decide to vote on what you, what, if you, and who you want to vote for. So get your absentee ballot going. Uh, you can still do that up until the Saturday before November 8th. Uh, but be sure to get ahead of time. That way you have a chance to review it, understand who the candidates are, what they represent, and the ballot issues that are out there as well. So Very important. Very, very so. important. Is there a way that people can uh, look at this online? The ballots? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, if you go to oakencounty.gov, it's on there. All the ballot okay. questions and candidates are on there. Okay. Uh, they may have it on the township website, too. Uh, but, yeah, it's readily available. But because that's in very important, very yes, important. Yes, it is. Uh, yep. So, well, with that, we'll close and we'll come back and wrap up our session here today. Thank you. Thank you. Love local sports. Whether it's Oxford High School or Parks and Rec, you can buy copies of each game. To purchase your copy, call us at 248 628 9658 or give us an email at manager at occtv.org or talk to us at the next game. Hopefully, we'll see you there.
there's a lot of history to Oxford. Hidden around every corner, deep in every crack, and sometimes right in front of you, waiting to be discovered. If you just dig a little, you'll find the great history of our beautiful town. Welcome to Historic Oxford. Greg, Joe Young, Deb Uren, we were just talking about the election and I forgot yes. to mention that for the village of Oxford voters, they have a new polling place. Instead of at the community room at the village offices, it will now be at the Oxford United Methodist Church across the street right behind Redknapp's uh, at 21 East Burdick Street is the address. So be sure to you know, the, go to your polling place, the new po polling place starting at 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. But we recommend you get your absentee ballot before then, so make it better for you. So we were going to talk, too, about some new businesses and where we're at with that. Yes. Got a lot going on downtown. How's our breweries coming along? Well, they are all got their <laughs> permits and are busy working away. Uh, the Oxford um, Falling Down microbrewery there with Dave Weckles' property is moving right along. And then the, the, falling, uh, the homegrown brewery mm -hmm. where the old Vets Hall was, they're moving right along also now. So we're excited about that, and hopefully they'll be open uh, this fall soon, hopefully. And then uh, the Oxford Tap expansion that's moving forward and getting, hopefully we'll have that all ready for the holidays. And so a lot of activity and new uh, businesses to, to, to check out. We also have the Becker Eye Care building. They were putting up brick and stone today, mm -hmm. this past week. Yes. So it's looking, coming along. So lots of uh, new businesses there. And then... We have the Dave Wuckel project that the uh, Village Council approved, the Planned Unit Development, or PUD it's called, to build uh, three buildings, two and three story buildings, mixed use, office, commercial, retail, and residential. So uh, we're excited about those things happening along with the parking lot. The part of the agreement with Mr. Wuckel is he will build a 55 space parking wow. uh, lot, which uh, of course is used for his tenants, but in the evenings and weekends, assuming he doesn't have uh, restaurants or other activities. There'll be more parking for mm -hmm. everyone in that quadrant, uh, whether they're dining or going to the show. So we're excited about those things happening with that. So um, we did want to uh, also mention uh, about the police department dispatch. It's uh, going to be transferred to Oakland County on November 30th. It's scheduled to be on, on November 30th. It's just the dispatch, not mm -hmm. the police. You'll continue to have our local police officers. Uh, Lake Orion is also going to be going to the county on that day for dispatch. As you know, may know, we've been dispatching Lake Orion and Oxford police uh, for the past couple of years for Lake Orion. But we're going to be switching over on uh, November 30th. It's, it's a cost-saving measure. Uh, so we're looking uh, forward to getting that in place and set uh, to keep things moving smoothly. But our, again, our police department will continue to serve here in our Oxford community. So we've got that. We mentioned about the master plan. Uh, we didn't mention about um, Parks and Rec. They've got some Halloween activities going on, too. The Halloween Road Rally is a lot of fun on Saturday, October 15th. If you're, it's a, I think it's four, four people go on a scavenger mm -hmm. hunt. Yep, teams of four. There's a fee of $120, but it's quite an evening. Uh, starts at 5.30, so if you haven't participated in it, you're into that, that, that kind of a fun thing for uh, some couples, that'd be awesome. And that's for adults 18 yep. and over. Right, yes. So not for the little guys. No, nope. there's something for the old But there. we got something for the little ones. Yes, yep, the jack-o'-lantern, jamboree. Uh, that's for children 12 and under. Sorry about you between 12 and 18. We'll have to work something <laughs> on that yet. Uh, but... Uh, it's a, the Jack and Lone Jamboree is at the Oakwood Lake uh, Township Park off o Oakwood Road. It's Saturday, October 29th. It starts at 11 o'clock sharp. So again, Saturday, October 29th, there's a $10 charge uh, for children, $8 if you're a resident of Oxford uh, Township or the village. So lots of good things going there. Also, our library, uh, which is certainly more than just books for yes. sure. They have all kinds of great activities and things going on, video and tape. And now they've got 
uh, workshops. They've got a Daughters of the American Revolution genealogy workshop on Saturday, October 22nd at 10.30 in the morning and, well, it's so three times, 10.30, 11.30, and 12.30. So it's free, uh, sponsored by the Daughters of the American Revolution. Uh, so check that out again on Saturday, October 22nd at 10.30, 11.30, 30, or 12.30. They also have a fun night, Boomtown. It's the Detroit in the Roaring Twenties. Oh. And that's a Monday night, November 14th uh, at 7 o'clock. Uh, should be a fun time to learn about what was going on back then when we had Prohibition back then, which uh, was against prohibiting alcohol. Some of you may not know what that means back there, you. Well, when we don't even know what the Warring, Roaring Twenties are all about. No, so. not at all, no. So <laughs> it'll be a great night to check that out. For the teens, we do have a creative writing club uh, that uh, meets on September, well, say met September, October 17th and November 21st. That's uh, the third Monday each month. It's from 6.30 to 7.30. Uh, so if you have any interest in uh, creative writing, teenager, uh, check it out. It's age, great, open to grades 6 through 12. Uh, so wow. again, that's at 6.30 at night. And there's a Lego club, too. They meet, uh, looks like, twice a month. Uh, October 4th and 18th and November 1st and 15th. So apparently the first and third, uh, third Tuesdays at 6.30. So that'll be a fun time. Uh, then they, they also, I see they have a tab, a teen advisory board. Uh, bring your ideas and programs, projects. Uh, we want to know what you want. So that's exciting for y young people to get involved. Again, this is, um, looks like uh, from 12 to, well, teenagers, a teen club. So, so yeah, we need to find something more for our children uh, that uh, are 19, yeah. 18 and on up. Cause, yep. um, we're well, working on it. We've we got to have something for them as they figure out what they're doing in their life. A lot of them are going to college, of course, and finding what their career uh, goals, might, uh, jobs, and training might be. So it's a challenging time for our youth, and uh, we'll uh, need to do all we can to help with that. Um, but it's great that we have all of these things okay. that are yes. local right here right. in our community. And, and like Joe said, our, our um, Oxford Public Library is, is a lot more yeah. than just books. And then so. we, have, we have our Oxford Addison Youth Assistance. Uh, that's a service available to help deal with uh, children and parents that may need help uh, with the, their ch parenting. Uh, so that's available to us in Oxford. Mm -hmm. So we've got a lot of resources available to us. And of course the churches are always there to help out as well um, and provide help in any way they can. So lots of great things happening. Uh, we mentioned um, about the road project coming up um, in 2019 uh, where MDOT's going to totally reconstruct the road uh, we need your input on that along with the master plan, what you'd like to see in our uh, area, as well as the vision for the DDA. So, And if I can just say, sure. too, um, the Oxford Chamber, we're going to be doing our strategic oh. planning right. um, on the Great. second Monday of November. Uh, the, our, our regular board meetings are always on the second Monday, and we will be taking three hours of our time to work on okay. the upcoming events for 2017. If you have some ideas, if there's things that you would like to see going on mm -hmm. in our community, please give our Chamber Director, Nicole, a call at 628-0410, uh, area code 248. So please, right. we he are here to help our right. community, so please reach yeah. out and we will certainly answer. Right. Take care. All right, well, one thing before we leave, okay. well, you know, we got Halloween coming up and it's, um, I believe it's a Monday, or it's a Saturday. No, what day is it? It's a Monday. Monday this year is Halloween, and the trick and treat time is from 6 to 7.30. So it's in the whole township oh. and village. It's all the same time, 6 to 7.30 on that Monday night. So be ready for... Uh, Lots of fun. Yes. <laughs> With that, we'll close, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Thank you. Bye now. All right.